Hey guys, so today we're on my LinkedIn here because I'm going to show you the courses that I have listed under my statistics degree, also a minor in computer science at the University of Waterloo. Nine or 10 courses that I think are really worth highlighting. So first I have algorithms, which is the pretty standard, like if you want to be good at lead code problems, you need to know those techniques. So like dynamic programming, divide and conquer, that type of thing. It's a great course. They taught it well. They taught it pretty rigorously. They actually went into like the NP completeness thing. By the way, I'm not really rating the courses. I'm not here to provide promote or subtract from the University of Waterloo. They're all pretty great courses and I would not put something here if I did not get significant value out of it. Next up is Big Data with PySpark. So basically they taught the MapReduce formula, parallel computing, and actually doing that in PySpark. And it really did help me get some internships in the field. Next up we have Computational Statistics with my least favorite programming language. But for a statistics point of view, it is probably the better choice for doing that over Python, I will have to admit. Now this course taught a whole bunch of different things like gradient descent for machine learning, but most notably they taught the idea of bootstrapping and went pretty big into the theory behind bootstrapping and kind of estimator-like conversation. It's pretty complicated. Next up is data structures with Python. So honestly, most courses online associate data structures and algorithms together, but it is very common in universities to separate them into different courses. So you have data structures, which is data, and then you have algorithms, which are performed you know, with or on data structures. And so it's the same type of conversation as the algorithms, but with a slightly different point of view talking about you know hash tables and how they work instead again an incredibly useful course for you know doing leak code problems and getting programming internships of all kind this one is generalized linear models which definitely makes sense to be an r you know you do glm in the formula and it'll do all the fancy stuff for you it's very good for teaching close to machine learning like concepts it's almost like it's machine learning but from a slightly more statistics point of view it is very useful stuff speaking of machine learning the last thing i ever did at the university this course will teach you all of the complex stuff it can actually vary like absolute crazy depending on the professor i had a very applied professor and so it was a lot more about what the algorithms can do for you and how they work versus the absolute very raw like statistics and linear algebra behind every single thing to be honest by the time you can take this course most students would have already had machine learning experience but they do cover stuff like cross validation the bias variance trade-off decision trees random forests boosting all of the complex models i read a really nice book from the professor and it helped me a ton even after having like two or three years of experience. This one is object-oriented programming in C++, so as opposed to the algorithms and data structures courses, this one of course will be closely affiliated with that, but it is more strictly about the object-oriented principles like encapsulation, inheritance, and they do it in C++, which is mean but very kind at the same time. C++ is like the hardest language, but also it's the way that you'll learn this stuff best. I feel like I became a better programmer after that course, and it really did help me a lot. Second, and last one, relational databases. Well, in SQL, I don't know what else it would be in. Basically, that teaches what you'd expect, primary keys, foreign keys, relationships, database design, and all of the visualization, like the common graphs to show the relationship between tables. I actually already knew SQL before this course and didn't really learn too much because I already knew most of this stuff. But for people that haven't taken that before, if you're going into any analytics or data science field, like SQL and relational databases is really, really useful. And the last one here, it's just alphabetical. This is not nearly the last course I took, but Stochastic Processes, which was again in R, a very hard statistics course that focuses mainly on these things called Markov chains. They are incredibly hard at first, and depending on how far you go into the theory, it gets pretty confusing. But they're actually really awesome, and it's such a cool topic to learn about. I got really interested in the material and learned a ton about the raw like theory probability pieces. There's also another course closely affiliated with this called Stat330, and that's just like pure probability that really really go into the details and both of them together, you know, you become a much better mathematician slash statistician after those courses. All right, that's it. If this did provide some value or was interesting to you, maybe consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.